had a lot of people who have been interested in doing hardcover books. But until recently, in 2021, KDP has not had an option for hardcover books until now. So now we have the ability as a KDP author to sell hardcover copies. So today we're going to get into a simple tutorial, a very simple tutorial, how to sell hardcover notebooks. So let's just get into the video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat Theo, and today we are doing a fun side hustle, which is low content books with hard covers. I love hardcover books and I preferred hardcover books, but for many, many years until last year, KDP or Amazon did not have the ability to do hardcover copies. So now I'm going to have some fun with it and create a few hardcover copies for notebooks. If you have missed the train, we are only going to be doing low content books. So low content books pretty much means your end buyer is going to be doing most of the work. You don't have to do any writing. You don't have to do any illustrating. The only thing you have to do is design the cover, put the inside in, which I'm going to show you a software that does all this for you with just a few clicks of a button. And that's it. With Amazon KDP, all you have to do is worry about being the author and the designer. You do not have to ship the books. You don't have to deal with returns. You don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is up upload it and Amazon takes care of the rest. And you don't even have to pay anything to get it on Amazon. Amazon takes the cost of the book out of the profits only. So if you don't sell any books, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you sell a book, they just subtract out the cost of the book. Let's just get right into it. You're going to go to bookbolt.io. Bookbolt.io is one of the top leading softwares for low content books. They have so many templates, everything you need to make it super easy to create your cover to create the inside all on this website and they are the top website that I have found doing this. There is a fee, there's a small fee, but you can use my code CAT20 all uppercase to give you a discount and they have a free trial to test out the software and see how you like it. For anyone who has used BookBolt before, they have listened to what you guys were saying, issues that you guys are having and they have had a complete overhaul of their website, have all new features and they have so many great things and I got to play around with the software before this video and they have made so many changes it makes it so much easier now so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in literally just a few clicks of the button you can have this done all right so you're gonna go to bookball and go ahead and log in the first thing you're gonna do when you get to the website is you want to research what you want to do a book on with the holidays coming up the end of the year I really want to take advantage of trying to get stuff sold for Black Friday Christmas stuff like that so I'm gonna be doing a Christmas theme book but go down to cloud and this is where you can do your research. So you can do all these different categories. You can do journal, music sheets, calendar, planner, coloring book, which we are going to do another video on coloring books. So stay tuned to that. Okay. That's going to be a good one. Um, and here's all your options. So I'm going to go with notebook because that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to click the top 100. This is going to be the top 100 best selling books through KDP on Amazon. So click search. What you're doing here is you're just trying to get information. You're trying to see the top performing notebooks. What do they look like? What are the keywords? What colors are they using? What are the titles? And you're just going to be getting some ideas. You can see like this one right here, stuff I can't remember has over 8,000 ratings. So this is definitely like flowers, some text. It's super simple to recreate. And on the inside, it's just lined paper. Oh, it's all the same. All these books look exactly the same on the inside, except this one. This is graph paper. And this is literally just graph paper, which you can do. And they have over 600 views and it's graph paper. They're almost selling 500 pieces of just graph paper. Anybody can do this. This is literally the easiest thing. And this one's also selling about 500 a month. So these are just really good data. Actually, my best selling notebook so far to this day is still my one notebook that had like a curse word in it. And it was kind of funny. It was a joke. And that still is my top performing notebook. So stuff like this definitely does well. I really like this one because you can see it's just a very simple cover and it just says sketchbook. One thing you can do is you can click into the actual list 
interesting to kind of get an idea of more things going on with the book. You can kind of peek around and see this is a KDP book. So you can do this and somebody is selling, look at that, 11,000 reviews. So when people say that you cannot make money in low content books, yes, you can, sis. You can take a look at their keywords and kind of get some ideas, etc. So we're gonna go back to Book Bowl and go to keywords, search, and I'm gonna type in notebook. And you can see some of the keywords that you might want to pick up for your book. So anything that high competition means a lot of people are searching for it. No data means no one's probably searching for it. So I would stick with things with high competition so you know people are actually searching for it. Okay, once you figure out what you want to do your notebook on, like I said, I'm going to do mine on a Christmas theme because that's kind of what I want to focus on today. I'm going to go click this arrow and click create. When you click the create, you're going to see this page right here where it says project type. We're going to do cover and interior together. Project name, we're going to do Christmas. We're going to do the trim size. We're going to just do a standard six by nine. And we're also going to do hardcover. I forgot to mention that cover and interior. So now it's all combined. And then we're going to use black and white interior paper. And we're going to leave this 75 because that's fine. And then we're going to leave the default setting as bleed on. And then we're going to click create project here you are right here you have your cover and right here it gives you all the information you need to know as far as where you need to stop your picture you're gonna pull it all the way to the red lines but the black lines you don't want anything there that's gonna cut off like text or a picture that doesn't need to be cut off or something so the first thing you want to do is create your cover so you can click image right here now they have added pixabay and unsplash you can also find other copyright free imagery online there's many different websites but they already have this built in for you so I'm just gonna click unsplash and then I'm gonna click pass Okay, this isn't Christmas theme. I'm just giving you an example here. Okay, this one's nice. You're gonna find one you like, and then you're just gonna fit it to the size of the page. They've also fixed any issues that before where you would put it in the book, you would upload it, and then it wouldn't fit. They fixed all those issues. I want this to be super simple, so I'm just gonna put notebook. So I wanna change the text font, so I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna click the one I want, and then you can change the size to be bold or regular. So I'm gonna bold it. And then I'm gonna center it on this side. You can see that's the center right there, and that's the center right there. So we are completely in the center of this side of the page. Honestly, I think that is pretty good. I think there's a lot of very simple designs like that that do really well, and it doesn't look super cheesy. It looks very nice. This is your money maker right here. I have some people that reach out to me on, I have this app called Call Me For, and it's a dollar a minute, and they say I've uploaded 20 books, and I cannot figure out why I'm not selling any books. And so I look at their books, and I say, okay, let's take a look. And I mean, I'm trying to come from a very kind and warm place, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't look professional. I'll give you an example and this is just for you know educational purpose like flowers that's fine here's a flower and they do all the steps correctly all the steps are done correctly and it looks something like this and then it doesn't sell. When you're trying to do your cover, this is the most important part of the book because even though you shouldn't judge a book by a cover, people do. So this is where you're gonna make all your money. Your cover has to draw people in, it has to be interesting. And I think the pastel one we just did quickly, you can make that really quick and I think it would draw somebody in. But something like this just, it just doesn't seem professional. Maybe it's the font, maybe it's the flower that's split in half. You have to be objective, try to be as objective as possible with your book and say, does this hold up to all the other books on Amazon? There's thousands of books on Amazon. So does this compare? Does this look professional? Does it look like somebody just threw this up on a software in 10 minutes? Or does it look like somebody took their time to put love and care and passion into this book? If it doesn't look like that, then try again. I'm just going to delete this. You can make a cover very quickly right in Book Bowl. And if you're a beginner, I definitely think it's a great option just to go with that. I like to do a little extra. So I go with Canva. I combine Canva and BookBolt to get the perfect cover that works for me. So I'm going to upload that right now. And this is my cover. So I'm just going to pull it to fit. 
I can see that everything is within the boxes. Nothing's gonna get cut off with printing. So now we have our cover and now we're gonna fill all of our pages. So this is the easy part. We're literally almost done. The hardest part is over. You're gonna click this little maze picture here and then you're gonna pick which inside you're gonna do. So you can do dots, you can do graph paper, you can do line paper. Here's another graph paper. You have all kinds of templates in here. Well, I'm gonna stick with just a notebook for today. So I'm gonna click this variation and I'm gonna pick the medium size. This one's the most narrow. This is the widest. I'm going to just do the middle one here. And then I'm going to select all of them, but my cover page and press next. I'm going to turn the color actually to black for the line paper. Maybe not the blackest, maybe like a charcoal copy that hex. So it's the same. And you can leave it gray if you want. I just want to do a black color and then I'm going to press submit and now it's going to populate all your pages. That's literally it. You're done. So now we're going to save it. You're going to hit project and you're going to download your project. Now it's downloading all your pages and that is literally it. That's how you can create a notebook within. I mean, the most it took was explaining if we're talking five minutes. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. Not gonna lie, it's a lot of fun. Now it has downloaded. Here is the file right here. And when you open up the file, you can see one is the hardcover and one is the hardcover interior. So now you're gonna go to Amazon KDP. This is right here. These are all my books right here. And you're gonna click create. And now you can see many different options you can do an e-Kindle book, a paperback book, a hardcover book, series page, and Kindle Vela. So we're gonna do a hardcover and then you're just gonna follow the prompt. So I'm gonna do this quickly for the sake of the video and then come back later and update it. So my title is gonna be a lot of what we pulled from the keywords on this page and also on the cloud, this page. The last time I searched notebook, now I'm gonna search Christmas and trying to get better keywords. A lot of reason why a lot of people's books are not selling is because they're not doing keyword research. Okay, once you get your keywords that you wanna use, I'm just gonna copy a few of here. Once you get your keywords, you're gonna add it to your title and subtitle. You can also go directly on Amazon to do research. This is the best search engine to figure out what is selling on. Bookbolt does have an extension called KDP Spy, so definitely check out that extension and it searches all these books and the keywords. Here you're gonna put your name. You can either do a business name like Happy Books or you can have your name. I'm just gonna do my name. And then you're gonna add a description. You can go back to the cloud for example, this is a KDP book. You can click into this one, for example, and it takes you back to the listing. You can go down to their description and see what they have. This is literally all they wrote. You can see that it doesn't take much. So we're just gonna do something quick as well. If you did this on your own, you own the copyright and here you're gonna put your keywords. At the bottom, you have categories and you can hit directly low content book. And like I said, that includes journals, notebooks, planners, calendars, coloring books, anything that doesn't have like text. You can go through the categories here. Mine has a cat Christmas theme. So I'm gonna try to find like holiday or something like that. Pets. Okay, cats, fine. And then once you do that, save and continue. And now this is the part where you're gonna upload the actual hardcover copy. You're gonna click publish with an ISBN. They're gonna give you one. The publishing date, I just do the day that I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a black and white interior. That's the cheapest. It's a six by nine, no bleed, matte cover. You can also do glossy. I think I'm gonna do glossy. And then now you're gonna upload your manuscript. That's the inside. Okay, now it's uploading and now you're gonna click upload a cover you already have, upload your cover and there's my cover. That's now uploading. Then your book preview, you're gonna click launch previewer. All right, there she is in the previewer and all her glory. She's actually really cute, like, hey. Does this look like a book you would buy, like a notebook? I would say yes. I think it's super funny and cute. And I put claws on the cat. Here comes Santa Claus, get it? It's kind of funny. 
and then you can flip through these are all the pages that book bolt quickly put in here for us we didn't have to do anything and it's all perfectly sized as you can see there's no errors if you have an error you'll have like a little triangle and book bolt has fixed any issues where now as soon as you upload it through their software and then upload it here you're not gonna have any more issues so we're just gonna click approve because it's beautiful and then we're gonna go to the next page at the bottom here it's telling you the printing cost is six dollars and eighty cents and it tells you in euros and all that which I thought the dollar was more than the euro so I'm kind of confused by that but anyways we're just gonna click save and continue your printing cost is six dollars and eighty cents so you don't have to pay that when you sell a book they will take that out of your profit so you need to list this at more than six dollars and eighty cents they're not gonna let you list it for anything less than that if I put 1133 which is the bare bones you literally make nothing so we're gonna put this at 1333 you're gonna make a dollar twenty this is the pound the euro and then all you do is click publish your hardcover book and then they're going to review the book and make sure you know make sure there's nothing crazy in your book like you know you can imagine crazy stuff in a book and then you can start an ebook but this is a notebook so we're not gonna do an ebook but you can see it right here you can kind of see it and there you go it's in review as you can see it usually takes about 72 hours depending if there's a lot of people there's actually people physically that review every book so the more people that are doing kdp the longer it takes but generally it's like three days that's how you publish a hardcover notebook within just you know 15 minutes 20 minutes the longest that it takes is your cover and everything else is pretty simple i'm gonna be doing another low content book on coloring books that's one of my favorites they have a new subscription where they provide all of the coloring pages for you which makes it so much easier for you so we'll get into that in the next video let me know what you think of this video feel free to give this video a like subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video bye oh okay okay we're gonna get comfortable <laughs> You see that really cool peregrine? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? That's called a peregrine. Oh jeez, I gotta turn that off. I've been getting so many people asking about, sorry, let's not say so many people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're not gonna have to, uh, <laughs> other than writing. Amazon takes all of the profits out of so we're, you're gonna go to a book bolt uh, uh, and the, oh, whoa, what's going on? Okay. Estimated monthly sales are selling almost $500, not $500. Sorry, let's just take all these out. Oh my gosh, freaking camera stopped recording again. Hello. Oh, okay. You have to highlight it. Okay, I typed in flowers. Why did mountains come up? Okay, I'm gonna, what should I do? All right, whatever. So, <laughs> sorry. Oh shoot, that's not right. I'm gonna list it for eight dollars and eighty cents. Oh, the minimum is eleven thirty-three. Dang, that changed a lot. Bookbolt has a new prescription. Subscription? Prescription. A new prescription. Oh my god.